Westwood is a, an historic district um, that is filled with homes that were built with meticulous care. It's just a lovely neighborhood to walk around and whether you live here or not and to look around. The story goes back that uh, when the Balls ended up starting Ball State University, which was really taking over an old sort of uh, normal college had gone under, uh, they very shrewdly ended up buying land in this area and put in sort of a top-line luxury neighborhood for the rich executives in town. And that's how Westwood got started. The person who laid out this community was a landscape architect. So there was really a lot of attention paid to the landscaping. Arthur Ball and Charlie Bender. Charlie Bender was a developer and they decided to plan an area which would be close to the, at that time, Ball State, which was just barely getting started. <laughs> it's everything from ranch houses to tutors to French provincials to a little bit of everything. And it all seems to work together very nicely. If you look at it, you can see that there's certain homes that look the same, but you see that there are groupings of those homes. And so I'm guessing that builders came in and the neighborhood grew in, in, in uh, stops and starts. They're built between, oh, roughly the early 20s. Some of them were built as late as the 50s, and I think a couple in the 60s. So it, in some sense, it's a hodgepodge, but it kind of works. As the uh, designs evolved, the neighborhood evolved. And it's interesting because um, one of the things that attracted me to the place was its proximity to the university. And sometimes I think about the parallels between the way the university evolved from a teacher's college into a full-blown university, and I think this neighborhood sort of evolved with it. One of the nice things about Westwood is that we're really within walking distance of Ball State. Um, we're two blocks from Cooper Science and we're really one block from the Art and Journalism building. So there's a lot of uh, Ball State families who live here um, because I think we're so close to the university. Uh, but there's also folks um, who represent all walks of life who live in Westwood. And I think you would find that most people who live in Westwood have lived here for many, many years. It's sort of interesting because houses in the neighborhood often get known by the people that lived in them in the past. And I guess we've been in Muncie a long time when people say to the people who live in 1020, oh, you live in the old Bohannon house. Some of the things that are quite different now are the residents. If you go back and look at the 30s and 40s and 50s, there were probably Ball Corporation executives living in this neighborhood. It was probably built primarily by the Ball family and, and um, for their um, employees, their executives. It's now been repopulated uh, with people, I think, um, heavily from the university, but also from the hospital. Plenty of physicians and administrators from Ball Memorial Hospital in the neighborhood as well. It is the architectural style of the homes and the landscaping throughout this very mature community that give, um, that give the homes their character. Well, I love the trees. I love the, the nature out here and the birds. I love the design of Westwood, the way the streets curve and come together. And I think the beauty of the lots um, is important to people. In a long established community like this that was, de that was developed really in the 1920s, you have mature uh, foliage. Uh, I think there's a real uh, interest on, on the part of just about everybody that lives here to maintain some of the, um, uh, the green and the um, natural beauty of the neighborhood. That certainly was very appealing to me as well. To me, that's what makes it such a beautiful neighborhood is the trees and the close proximity to the hospital and Ball State University. 